Yes! Hello everybody, welcome back to another anime reaction here on the Genreverse YouTube channel. It is AVR Squared and we are here with our Jujutsu Kaisen Season 1 Episode 15 reaction. I'm Kyle, that's my wife Christine, and you guys should totally subscribe here on the Genreverse because, hey, anime reactions, that's what you're here for right now. But we also have reviews, uh, podcasts covering anything and everything you can uh, imagine in geek, pop culture, entertainment, live streams, doing gaming, watch-alongs, and more. Uh... Be sure to check out all of our written entertainment content, entertainment news content at lrmonline.com, as well as uh, celebrity interviews, uh, red carpet events from the LRM YouTube channel, much more. And of course, hey, we do have merch in the description box below. You will find our red bubble link. Um, and yeah, yeah, we're actually quite well ahead of what is being published uh, which is good, gives us a little bit of breathing room. If you guys have been following us for for a while, you'll you'll know sometimes we run out of of time. So having uh, these episodes in the can is definitely making me feel better. How are you feeling, babe? I'm good. I ate before we we came on here, so good, I'm happy. Good to go. Yes. <laughs> All righty, let's do this. It's like listening to myself. Mm. It's like I need a script. That's yeah. all right. <clears throat> He's watching the whole thing from from somewhere where he can watch his uh his idol. You said between the two schools. Oh, where you where you guys started out at? I was like, you got to cover from Kyoto to Tokyo. Bump that, man. Kyle would have already failed. Nah, I can handle uh uh fake spider, ghost spider. It's only got six legs. <laughs> Two more and it's game, o game over, though. Never mind, I'm watching them. Riza, not right now. Uh. Riza. Always the most inopportune time. <laughs> you haven't even met Toto yet. Could be a good fight. But the question is, is Yuji a ass man or tits man? This is, we're going to find is, out. I, we better find out. I need to know. Valuable information. In invaluable information. Invaluable. <laughs> I don't know that I have strong feelings on either uh, opening. Like, they both mm. have their... their their uh I don't want to say benefits, but they're like um they both have their points. Yeah, I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. Like there's things Good I, parts. Yeah, 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 sure. Uh, that one. <laughs> Just go with like really simple English. It, it, they both have their good parts. They both have their draw. There's a word that I want to use and I cannot think of it. Both have their um their appeal. That that's close. They both have their appeal. That's that's close. I like the like uh, train ride aspect. It's mm -hmm. it's different. Um, I like this giving the way it gives uh, the characters the time. I don't get the guitar bit though. It's a little weird to throw in there because we haven't seen any music related s stuff yet. At least he doesn't seem interested in killing you. No, the other one. <laughs> I, I mean, they were planning without you. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> what a dumb cursed spirit. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Oh, come on now, bad form. You face stomp when you're making a point. Like, you don't need to make a point here. This should still be like a good, you know, uh, uh, fight between people trying to figure out who's who's the superior fighter is. Well, you don't necessarily have a reason to stomp his face yet. I mean, it could happen in the future, but not not yet. And I'm not really joking on that on that one. And then again, you fight to win, so... Yeah. Damn, dude. Maybe you went too far. You didn't even learn if he likes boobs or, or butt. <laughs> Self aware. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm guessing his team told him that you've got. Here it comes. Come on. Finish. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, you touched him at his core. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, are you guys besties now? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so the start of a bromance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean this is all in his head, yeah. but yeah. Defeat yourself in your own fantasies. Man. I know, right? <laughs> now I want to see this. <laughs> Just these two, broing it up over their shared love of ass. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Psycho bitch. She's got a domain? Yeah, well, it must not be complete because that did not hit. And we've been told by uh, Nanamine and, and others that, you know, the domains are like a thing. Like, you're you're going to hit. Maybe it's not a complete one, like I said. I think I said. Maybe I, maybe I just thought. And they all teamed up on you, dude. Yeah. I mean, they did talk about it mm. last episode. Mm 
He's found himself a bro, man. You guys need to let let go. <laughs> Those things get good reception. <laughs> I was thinking about her wearing a dress on a broom. Ah, uh, yeah. And straddling the broom instead of side, side, side straddle. <laughs> Did you even really have to ask? Yeah, without much questioning of it. Most of them, that is. <clears throat> I guess, but... Still. You'd hope kids would be a better, though, you know? Because the the whole idea of, you know, minds not yet fully warped, you know, uh, still influential, still and, and teenagers, especially in the in the age. Of, and this might be an American projection. I know Japan's uh, culture for order and, and disciplines uh, a little bit different. Um, but, you know, the, the rebellious age of teenagers is relatively universal. It's just how far you actually rebel in, in public and whatnot. But the idea of questioning authority, at least on the inside, maybe not publicly to authority's face, that's pretty universal the way I un I understand it. So I, I would hope the Kyoto kids would, you know, some of them are questioning it, but you would you would hope more would. Or at least balk at the actual kill if and when they got the, the chance. Mm. Get your own Bluetooth headset. What happened to you? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Warriors <laughs> come out and play. <clears throat> Freaking bottles on the fingers. Mm -hmm. Weird movie. Oh. Uh oh, you lost sight. Yep. <laughs> Dang. Careful, Toto, you might fall in love here. <laughs> You are too into this. <laughs> 
Okay, so you don't like that because he shouldn't be able to do it or you feel it's bad form because you were face stomping. Yeah. I mean, I kind of get it, you know, trying to prevent some sort of, um, I guess, pseudo nepotism, you know, uh, with, with not letting your superior be the one to recommend your superior might not be able to, should not necessarily have a, I look at it kind of like a, a promotion board in the, in the army. So when you go, when you're enlisted and you're going for certain promotions, you'll go before a, uh, a promotion board usually made up of um, the battalion sergeant major, uh, who's the senior non-commissioned officer of a battalion element, and then the, the company first sergeants, which are the senior NCOs for the companies that are part of that battalion. So you have your president of the board, the head honcho sergeant major, and three, four, five, maybe even more uh, company uh, first sergeants. They all ask you questions based on your your MOS, your your job specifically, uh, general army knowledge and and uh, standards protocol and and whatnot. And it's kind of like an inner an interview process. Your first line supervisor is the one that recommends you for the board. I think you're ready for the next you know the next step, whether that's your team leader, squad leader, platoon sergeant, and whatnot, and then. You do have one representative on the board that is in your direct uh, um, uh, chain of responsibility, um, but they're only one voice. There's multiple on there, so I I kind of see why you wouldn't, but I also don't think it's that bad of a thing to be recommended by your su supervisor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should get along with uh, what's her name? Uh, from Tokyo, uh, brown hair girl. I'm sorry, I'm forgetting her her name right now. The one that joined with uh, Eat Story, oh, okay. because she's also from a less well off area, and yeah, or well off uh, upbringing or whatnot. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, I think he's okay. <laughs> oh, oh, that was fun. Yeah. That was fun. I like Toto. He's cool. <laughs> Cranking up the Toto. <laughs> You're my best friend. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed that. Um, I can't wait for more. Unfortunately or fortunately, we have uh, something else coming up. So uh, what are we watching next? Oh, yeah. Vinland Saga with, with Brian. Let's do the stroll. <laughs> She's drooling. with bangs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, isn't she a student? Then again, yeah. it's go it's Gojo, so he's just probably bullshitting and making stuff up anyway. 
who knows? That was a lot of fun. I can't wait to get back to that. I really, uh, I really do hope um, Toto and, and Yuji get to be uh, get to be the best friends they so obviously deserve to be. Wonderful best friend montage, like in uh, that '70s show. Get yeah. one of those. <laughs> That'd be great. Um, yeah, guys, that was a lot of fun. I can't wait to get to more. Uh, but in order for us to get to more, we got to finish this one up first. So please do subscribe. We've got live streams going on, podcasts covering everything in entertainment, anime reactions, movie reviews, anime reviews, a lot of really good stuff. Uh, all the podcasts and uh, written entertainment news uh, reviews go up at lrmonline.com as well as uh, celebrity interviews, red carpet events. Um, and convention videos, all sorts of stuff from the LRM YouTube channel as well. So get subscribed there. And uh, hey, merch link available in the description box down below. I've been Kyle. That's been Christine. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.